Hello guys, welcome back to Brad's Life. Today we are taking a look at my Darth Maul collection. Now I know this is probably scaring the daylights out of you because we got Creepy 1, Creepy 2, and if you take a look at these awful faces, Creepy 3. Now all these guys are super creepy. All right, this is 10018 uh, Darth Maul. This is the bus from 2001, according to Brixie. Or brick set, sorry. And this retailed for $150 back in the day. And now typically goes for upwards of $1,000 if you want it new in box. I actually bought all the parts on Bricklink and I pieced it together. And I this is the only one I'm going to show the instructions for. But uh, so I got the instructions on Lego.com on my iPad. So once to load. And they're like a grid system. So if you see in these parts right here, this, uh, the, I think they're three by eight studs tall, if I believe correctly. And the instructions are super hard to follow. It's all black and red pieces, especially when it gets right about here. I actually, when I got to about the eye level, I actually had to take off the head and restart. It was so bad. So putting you on the good camera, we're going to take a look at this thing. We're going to hold you, so it might be a little wobbly. Now, because this is from 2001, we have the old brown, just the regular. Ignore the new reddish brown right here. The seller sent me one, and it was way too late. It was like two months late, and they never responded. So I was like, whatever. It's like three cents. So I kept the newish brown. I got to replace it one of these days. One of these days. But um, this thing is a pain to dust. I don't know if you could see any dust. It actually comes out better on camera than in person. But it's a pain to dust. But this thing from a distance looks so cool. And I'll show you a picture right now. And that's of it on the shelf. But right now I have it on my table for the sense of this review. The one thing that bothers me is that they didn't fill this in with tiles. But down here they did. Drives me crazy. Um, but if you turn this around, you have just a lot of those classic pieces. Some of these brick, like the big bricks, like six by 18 bricks, they're really expensive. I had to buy a lot of these parts used. But right here, this is one of my favorite things. Lego used to do this on their big models. They put a one by two, that's just, I don't even know if that's gonna come off. It might, this isn't glued, but I'm not gonna pull it off. And the old gray, it's really cool. And you can see on the bottom that base, that base is just bricks. It was, I think like $150 just to get those parts, the four parts. And I was not paying that price. But um, yeah, this is Darth Maul. There's some snot techniques in here. Uh, the nose comes out, it's all clipped in. It's actually a really cool build. It looks so cool when you get done. They even have the chromed uh, ear in. There, Ray Parker forgot to take out, so they even put that in there. I think that looks so cool. But this Darth Maul is my favorite of the bunch, I think. I'm going to say it is for now. The next Darth Maul that came out is set 75537. And this is the buildable figure. So I got this just to get the face. I really like the face, but I kind of like the figure after it. So I just kept it built. I paid $7 for this on eBay. Came out in 2017, I believe. Yep, 2017. Oh, 2018, actually, when Solo came out. And this was $30. I thought this was $25 when it came out. I paid seven for this thing. See how much the value has held up. But I just want to pop this head off. I want to get you close in there. I think this thing looks so cool. These molds, I have a few of these buildable figures I got for deep cheap clearance but i don't love this part how it sticks out of the back i know it's for the play feature of this but really it didn't have to be here and like this is printed right here this is a cool chest plate other than that you got these cloaks and this is more like a bionicle or a hero factory or an action figure bends everywhere i just kind of keep it in the one pose and i put it on my shelf and i'll show you a picture of where it is at the moment right now and so, yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about this. I wish his arms bent too. 
they don't bend, only his hands, which I find kind of annoying. But other than that, I mean, for $30, you shouldn't have bought this. You should have paid $7 like I did. And I only paid $7 because I bought a damaged box, but it was brand new. So I'll show you the value of these things. But yeah, that's the, and we have one more Darth Maul to look at. Now this Darth Maul, I literally just finished building yesterday. And this is from the Lego art line, the Sith. And this released just this September. And it was set 31200 and has a lot of pieces. It's one of the newer sets. I did listen to the soundtrack and I fell asleep three times, so I stopped listening to it. But uh, I literally just bought this set and I think this thing looks so cool. Up close, it doesn't look like anything. But when you come back, and I'm gonna stand up and kind of move back. I mean, you can really see the shadowing right there. And I'll show you a picture of it on my wall right now from a farther distance. And this thing just looks sick. Not like sick sick, but it just looks so cool. It's got the Star Wars tile and the building. This was admittingly a little bored, but it's like so thick. You got bricks on the sides and then you got back here. You got the um, the hooks and this hangs it in there. And these big, I think they're 20 by 16, no, 20 by 20 plates, the Technic plates. And this set is a must buy. I'm actually going to take this apart at one point or another. Once I get two more, and I'm gonna put the three Vader. Let me just show you where it's gonna go. Over here, um, at the moment, it might move, but I got these from old canvases I hung and I took them down. It's gonna go right down there and it's gonna look so cool. And from a distance, it looks awesome. And hanging this up really isn't that hard. I'll show you how to hang this up quickly. Um, so what you do is you kind of just drop it in. And it was funny how these were literally a perfect fit. And you just make sure you get it in right. That might not be on centered perfect, but just look how cool it looks. And if you come over here, you see my TV. It just looks awesome from over there. You got the big Darth Maul. So I think this thing looks so cool. Kind of stares at me from my bed, which is over there. Just kind of stares at me. But Darth Maul is one of my favorite characters especially from the Clone Wars, even before the Clone Wars season seven, though, he was one of mine. I was always afraid of him as a kid. But there you guys have it, my Darth Maul collection. I'm actually trying to get a hold of some of the vintage minifigures from the little price at like $15. I want to get a few of the minifigures, especially the older ones. I like the old guys better, but I do want to get one of the new ones. So we'll see where that goes to. I definitely do not need the Clone Wars one, though. I think that one looks like a piece of poop. Um, and I did order the Funko Pop, so I have a pop figure just like Mr. Uh, oh, what's his name? This guy from Endgame. But I'll probably put him around right over there where those guys are. But yeah, thank you guys for watching my little Darth Maul collection review comparison thing. And I hope to see you in another video. If you click right here on the screen and here, you'll see my channel. And don't forget to, to subscribe. Enjoy my Discord down below, along with all my Twitter, my social medias, my Instagram, all that right down below in the bio. So please check that out. Don't forget to leave a like and comment and subscribe. Bye for now.